So I was checking out the Rocket League Steam Workshop lately, and I stumbled upon a map that intrigued me. Lethemir's Tiny Rings map? Hello? So yeah, apparently this guy took my map and made the rings as tiny as possible, which is a brilliant idea that I never got around to doing. So thank you, Plane, for doing this for people to try. I made my rings map as challenging as I could for a wide range of players, but this cranks it up to the highest of difficulties. I'm gonna jump into this sort of blind, and I say sort of because it's the same path as the normal rings map, but all the rings are shrunken down, so it'll feel different as you go through it. So enjoy as I play through my own map in a new way for the first time. Let's get right into it. Oh! <laughs> oh, they were not kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so the whole thing, I think, are these rings. What the heck? Yeah, it literally is just all the rings shrink, da shrink down. So this is be really hard, actually. Because some of the levels are, are not designed for small rings. We'll see, uh, we'll see if we fail. I'm not sure if the uh, triggers, like the... The resets are also small, but we'll, we'll see how we do. So far, we got one death already. I mean, I could have restarted, but it's fine. Like I said, this is just a first playthrough. Uh, this this is definitely way harder. Uh, so if you want to check this out, it's on the Steam Workshop. Um, uh, I'll have a link to it in the in the description of this video. Woo! Dude, this is so much harder. Um, definitely a worthy challenge. Also, there is another rings map from someone called Future Rings that I never uh, actually played on my channel. I didn't even notice it was it was a thing for a long time, and I totally forgot to make a video on it. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. I'll definitely give it a try. It looks pretty insane. I'm glad to see there's more people making uh, you know custom rings maps because they're really good for players. Is there a ring there? Oh, my. dude, the spacing is so weird because I'm used to uh, like the smaller rings being closer, but since these were bigger rings. It's actually a little tight. Oh, there's a reset. Don't tell me the rings get smaller after this. There's no way, right? That'd be insane. Nice. This is this is why I didn't make these rings this small at the start. Because I think I wanted... I, I like to make my maps. Especially my training maps. I like to try and make them... Uh, oh my gosh. I like to try and make them, uh, you know, possible. Or at least a little bit possible for most players. At a certain rank. Uh, and give challenges down the road. That's why, like, every five levels, I made the rings a little smaller. So this is level five. And we're not uh, any smaller yet. I think the next one might be smaller. We'll see if they just made them all the same size. But this is way, way harder. I, I definitely like this a lot more. Um, like, this is, for me, I prefer this. But like I said, I didn't want to make it super difficult for everybody. Okay, that one just didn't make any sense. Definitely give it a try and let me know. I want to see some videos. Send me some videos on Twitter. I feel like we need to do more of that kind of interaction. I'd love to see people, uh, you know, make an attempt at these. So we're on a new set of levels here, and it's still the same size. So I think it's going to be this size the whole way through. And we'll see how long it takes me, because I did one of my first runs as a video a long time ago. And this is already twice as long for the first five levels. And it's crazy that this, this rings map is over a year old now, I think. Yeah, it actually is way more than a year old. Um... And I definitely made some improvements in my other Neon Rings maps. Or Rings map. And I want to make a third one. I'm in the middle of making a Medieval one with like the whole Medieval background. Because I know you guys just watched... I don't know if you guys watched the, the series of Medieval Mayhem. Uh, it was a lot of fun to play in those uh, with, the, with the guys. But uh, I want to I wanna take that whole Medieval castle area and make it into a Rings map. Which I think would be a cool, cool way to incorporate more Medieval stuff. Dude, this is so hard compared to the... Uh, the uh, other version, which I'm glad someone did this. You know, it's it's uh it's probably a quick change. You just take each one because I centered all of the stuff together, so um you just you know move them together, shrink down each one by a certain amount. But uh, it it looks really good. This is I love this moment when you go past the light here. This is super accurate, accurate. Can I get through? Nice. It has like it only has like a thousand subscribers on Steam right now, so not many people have seen it or tried it. And it's maybe they've tried it and unsubscribed because it's too hard. <laughs> Doing pretty good though. Only three deaths, and I mean the the deaths that I got, one of them was kind of at the very beginning, and the other one was I don't know what happened with the ring, but one legitimate failure through the through the run so far. Don't really care how many deaths we get. I'm just going to try and go through it. Dude, this is so many little tiny rings. 
If a freestyler sees this map and tries freestyling, I want to see them go through this whole thing twirling the whole time. I, I do want to see that. Let's go. I can't imagine. I'm like being very accurate with this because I don't want this to be like a 30 minute video. Don't hit the water either because the water is uh, a reset. Nice. Oh, once we get to the last level, it's basically the same size. I don't think he even changed the last levels because this looks like the same size as the last levels. Maybe even a little smaller. And there is a ring that goes down here. Usually this wouldn't be as big of a jump here, but, uh, you know, with the smaller rings, it, it's so it's so weird how it feels so different, even though it's the same path. The thing is, there was, uh, I think there was like 300,000 downloads of this map on Steam, which is incredible. Uh, it might have been 200. I don't remember how many, but uh, I really do appreciate you guys, you know, uh, enjoying the maps and and liking this, like wanting to see more, basically, like liking what I do. I know I've made over 100 maps now, but it doesn't get old for me. You know, seeing people's reactions to what I create, I, I do really enjoy. Uh, I really do enjoy, you know, making. It's basically like Rocket League art, in my opinion. I guess that's probably why I like it. So I like creating like you know nice looking maps that are fun to play in like it's it's one thing to make a nice looking map it's one one thing to make you know a map with like good gameplay but combining the two is so satisfying this is such a different vibe here this part here i do like this view though when you're looking through all the uh the rest of the levels down there but to fly through these like this so accurately is so different i'm surprised i didn't reset there with that touch It's crazy how much work this was to make this map, uh, like, back when I didn't really know much about modeling and stuff. And pretty proud of this one still. And there's definitely, like, issues with it. Um, but overall, it's a pretty nice map. And obviously people think the same thing because they... I see a lot of people playing on it still to this day. Um, I think that Neon's, Neon Rings is a better overall map, uh, like, design-wise and stuff. It's very clean. But uh, I just like making these. I, th I know I'm trying. I do I do a lot of multiplayer maps, and I'm trying to do more training maps because I because obviously like workshop content or custom content in Rocket League is hard to do for the majority of people. Uh, it's not like that actually that hard. It's just the barrier of entry seems pretty high. So I uh, I'm trying to cater to more people who just want to do solo stuff. But yeah, this is this is available on. Uh, like epic and steam like custom maps are epic epic compatible uh it may not seem that way there is a way to download steam maps off of steam but that's why i do a website for all my maps because i like to have it available for both steam and uh epic users a lot easier and uh the custom map loader is pretty helpful to you know have one location to load all your maps in uh, i don't personally use it because uh, of how i set up maps and like i'm always building stuff so i can't really like put maps into an official set of places because it always changes. I'm always working on stuff. But it's it's good for people who want to try out maps and oh what's happening. Alright, we're just like totally avoiding the rings. I don't even know if they have triggers. I should have reset there. Oh, okay. No <laughs> never mind. I I did I did call it. I did say that was gonna happen. And I feel like because I'm going so much slower, I get I get a bigger appreciation of the look of this map. Like even uh, all the time I spent, you know, putting those buoys back down there uh, to like follow the path of the the track was worth it because it just adds some extra detail. I think it's a a nice looking map, and you know, not too many winter theme map. There's there's like the winter hoops map, my uh, snow hill, which I don't want to talk about. It's pretty bad. The outside design is pretty cool, but overall, the, 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 the look of the inside map is not great. As back when I didn't really know what I was doing. I want to see what my final time would be with, uh, like, this is almost coming to the time. This is around the time that I would normally get on a normal run. And we're already at 11 minutes on a level 11. Wow, did we just hit level 11 at 11 minutes? Like, one minute per level? That's not too bad. What are the chances, though? Um, it is nice to like go through these little tiny rings and, and accurately go through the, the, the track. Um, but I like also smoothly going through each ring. That's why I try to make some parts like really smooth and you can go pretty fast through them. But I also want it to be challenging. Oh my gosh. 
But this is the next level challenge. This is like impossible mode. Can you imagine doing impossible mode on this? I didn't want to do that because I knew I would probably fail somewhere. Fairy's Peak. Yeah, I don't know why I did the naming convention thing. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I completely removed the names on the second, uh, the second uh, rings map I made. Just because it is all kind of the same in that map. Like, it's all just like through a cityscape. So it was a lot harder to come up with names. So I just gave up on it. <laughs> But still, the names are pretty cringe, not gonna lie. But uh, it was it was mostly, you know, my chat was helping making the names, so... We were just messing around. What did I just hit? We're almost on the level where these rings are actually, like, proper. And they might even be smaller than I made, like, than they originally were, I think. Because, oh! Oh my gosh, dude, this is so long. <laughs> like, it's crazy how much longer this takes with this size. Like, I think it just... It's just like so much focus. I'm sorry if I'm not talking enough. Maybe I'm talking too much because I'm thinking about it too much. I do that a lot. I do recommend you give it a try though. Let me know what your time was. Or if you can't make it through. <laughs> Either way. And uh, he did say in the Steam like comment, he's like, let me know if like this is, you know, infringing on anything. No, I don't care. I, I mean, it would have been something cool I could have done, but I don't mind someone else doing it because it saves me time. Quite busy. I just like people seeing, like, I like seeing people experiment with custom maps. Like, I use, I've used bits from other people's custom maps, like, several times. And it's just nice to have a community that, like, works together to make new content and new things for Rocket League. Uh, even if the game won't. So it's, ni it's nice to just, you know, have a group of people that know how to make custom maps and, and just make fun, unique, dumb things. Like, look, look at Simple Sharks maps. All the fun, you know, silly... Like, the Fruit Loops map was so much fun. And several of his maps are, like, goofy, but still very playable. Oh, my gosh, dude. Like, they're goofy, but playable. And, uh, you know, just something different. Something something fun to do. Like, I don't know how many times we've laughed in our videos where it's, like, it's literally genuine laughter because it's just so much fun. Like, Rocket League has such a, such a good formula. There's literally anything they could do. And, and Rocket League came from a group of modders as well. Like, the people who developed the game came from people who modded modded stuff. And uh, originally their game wasn't anything to do with a soccer ball. Or football, sorry. Uh, it had it had to do with, like, battle battling cars. Uh, and they just, they just put a ball in there and they realized how much fun it was. So they made a game around it. Which is insane to even think. That that's how it, how it came to be. You know, I'd like to see more modded stuff. More experiment, experimental stuff in Rocket League. I think there's so much opportunity... Uh, to make so many crazy modes, like racing modes, you know, upping the cap of, like, the car speed. Different abilities, car abilities. Imagine there's, like, a mode where there's, like, three different cars. They all have different abilities. You can choose one. And they all, like, mix together. And we see which one which one becomes mo the most OP or, like, how to balance them and stuff. Just adds a bit of flavor to Rocket League that it, I would say is missing. But as I'm talking about this, this is... I really don't want to fail this. This is such a long level. You gotta have some good, good patience with these. I really do like how all the levels feel a little different in this one. I think I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that the most. Is that each level has like a different vibe to it. I think it's like one thing that the Neon Heights rings is kind of missing. Is that, that all the levels kind of feel very similar. I did add some like different ways of going through the, like traversing through the city, uh, sky skyscrapers and stuff, but this one definitely has different different feeling for each level. And I left it very open. Like, there's no, um... You can fall and, like, land and, like, come back and fly through the rings again. Doesn't really, doesn't really hurt at all. I feel like you just don't want to touch the rings. Nice. Yeah, these levels get really long at this part, so... Once we get to the final level, though, I think it's going to be spaced out the way that I had had the rings and it's not gonna feel as weird and there we go spike we got spike rush <laughs> i think spike rush is already a thing that's why we use the name almost 100 percent sure it, yeah spike rush was more than a year ago but i think i released this in 2019 wait did i release this in january of 2018 there's no way right had to be 2019 or was it Wait, I think it was 2018. This map's been forever. Oh, I'm getting old. 
Like, I'm 26. I've been playing this car soccer game since I was 20. Ugh. I mean, to be fair, I was only 20 for like a month, and then I turned 21. I started playing this game in February 2016. Oh my gosh, this is so much more difficult. Yeah, the fact that I'm playing this, you know, car soccer game, creating new stuff. Like, I definitely think that my engineering job and my engineering degree helped me, you know, learn how to make the maps the way I do. But a lot of it was, like, self-taught outside of my career before Rocket League. I, I haven't really talked to many people about, like, you know, what I was juggling between Rocket League and stuff, but... Let's just say I'm happy I'm not doing all that at the same time now. Because <laughs> I just don't think I could. Okay, these definitely feel smaller. Than what the, the level used to, used to look like. But it still works. It's actually way more comfortable in these levels because the way that I spaced them out. Because the, the rings were smaller. So I can actually like fly through them a little bit smoother. As I was saying, fly through them a little smoother. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just going to hop off the ground. It's definitely a lot smoother than the previous levels, just because of the spacing of the rings. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh my god, that stressed me out. I really don't want to fail in these levels because they're super long at this point. And uh, it just adds a lot of runtime that's not necessary. I mean, Danny's probably going to cut this down, so thank you, Danny. I appreciate you. As is everyone else. But yeah, good idea to make these rings smaller. I, I think this is... Uh, Something that we should probably do with my other rings map as well. Make it extra challenging. It's like impossible mode on top of impossible mode. I don't know if you guys also noticed that uh, on the other rings map, I made the smallest rings a little bit bigger. Because people complained that it was too hard. So I'm sure that we can make this one, that one just as hard as this one. I like that the final levels also feel a little more like expand, like the, the, the background seems a lot bigger and way further out. Which I tried to do on purpose as well. It actually worked out really well. Nice. Woo. Oh my gosh, these rings are so tight. When you go down these 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 falling areas, I feel like I'm. There's like this weird uh, feeling you get in Rocket League sometimes when you can feel the effect of the boost, uh, like immediately. Like you can tell the change in direction. This is helping me get that flow state. Uh, feeling of like controlling the car through the rings. I haven't hit a ring in a while. I know that now that I said that I'm gonna hit one. Because whenever I say that I end up hitting something. Oh my gosh, it's blinding. Look at that. Smooth as butter. Pretty impressed actually. I'm I'm like going through these pretty quickly. <gasps> Frick! I knew, I knew it would happen the second I said it. And it's the little details, like the lights on the outside, like that just add a little bit of color and a bit of uh, look to the map. That uh, is very, it's rewarding to see it all come together at the end. And this is still one of my most, like, one of my favorite maps that I built. It was a lot of fun to build as well. Oh, we died there. Oops. I would say this is like 10 times harder than the original map. I, th I think my, my original map was like very doable for most people that are, have like their aerial capabilities. But if you're still learning how to aerial, obviously it's pretty hard. But this is just impossible for most people, I think. <laughs> if you don't have a lot of aerial control. And most rings maps, like I feel like I can autopilot for the most part. But I have to like sit here and think about every mo motion the whole time. And this level is very long too. Hopefully I can just get through it smooth, smoothly. I see the end. Do you make the end ring small too? Doesn't look like it. I can't tell though. I'm just surprised the whole map still works. Oh gosh. I'm just surprised the whole thing works, like the resets and stuff. Because that was uh, annoying to make. Back in the day. All right, the final level. The big climb. This is it. 25 minutes have passed. Oh my. Woo. 
And oh, you know what? I'll take six deaths. I almost jinxed myself. Lucky number seven. But not bad for a first blind run. I mean, it's not really technically blind. I know the map, so I know how it's going to look. <laughs> but overall, it it, uh, it definitely plays out very different. And uh, it's much more difficult. This part is really hard. Oh, no. No, I reset number seven. Oh, no, that climb is hard. Once you bump like that, your camera resets position. It's really awkward. Oh, also, quick note. I'm actually making Flappy Bird in Rocket League right now. Uh, in the background. It's just been a project of mine that I, I wanted to do for a while. And how it's going to work is the car's going to stay still with unlimited flips. And, uh... Oh, I hit the same ring again. Uh, unlimited flips. Where's the ring? There it is. Um, unlimited flips. And the tubes are going to fly at you. Which I think is a really cool idea. That you just stand still and have to fl flap. And then I was thinking that every, uh, 10... 10 pipes or so the speed gets a little bit faster instead so it, it, it requires a lot less programming basically uh to do it that way and i think it's like very interesting i don't have to move the pipes around look at this bright yellow ending here we did it 27 19 not bad seven deaths you know i appreciate someone you know taking one of my old maps and making a little bit of a twist on it uh definitely felt pretty rewarding to go through all these little rings there's a lot of rings i think there's like a total of like 600 I wonder if they did the secret as well. I don't remember the password, actually. I can't remember the password at all. There's a, there's a secret set of rings in this map. I won't like, you know, if you haven't found it before, there's a, if you, I'll show you the beginning and you can find the rest of uh, the secret yourself. Um, but there is a secret over here, uh, hiding in one of the mountains. I can't remember where it is. It's been so long now that I don't remember <laughs> where I put it. I think it's over here. Yeah, I think it's up, up here behind these mountains let's see am i right oh yeah it's in here here we go so behind these rocks here there's a guy and he says find all 30 of my kind and return to me so once you speak to him then you have to find yeah those <laughs> the snowmen um it, it reveals a big secret area i i, I don't know if uh the secret area is changed at all, but it'd be interesting if it was. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely an interesting experience going through an old, older map of mine and seeing it changed. For, in my opinion, the better. Um, for a bigger challenge, but uh, it's definitely very difficult for most people, I would say. But give it a try. Uh, it's on the Steam Workshop, like I said, in the description as well. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.